Okay, greetings everyone. This is First in Twenty Seventy Three. The next episode of Democracy Three: uh, Progressive Russia. I'm playing as Russia, we're trying to be progressive. Let's see here. Uh, quarterly report is here. Uh, the last episode um, did not save. I did a few things uh, this turn. I just couldn't save it. I can only save per turn, I guess. Like, uh, so uh, I think what I did was look back at the video. And I raised the petroleum tax, so we're just going to go ahead and do that again. This is my uh, key to economic success, or budgetary success. Uh, car usage is really being driven down, which is something I want to do uh, to prevent pollution. And we're also lowering motorist membership, which is great. Environmentalist is getting a huge bump, and motorists are not going down that much. I think I raised it to 20. And then you start to get a lot of pushback from the motorists. I'm going to try to see if I can't squeeze out a few more billion here. How much can I squeeze out? 23, can I get it up to 25? So I'm actually going to do a little bit more than I did last time. Yeah, motors are not going to like me. Uh, how much is that going to bring it down? 11. <clears throat> 11%. <sighs> Let's go ahead and apply the changes there. And I think I also went ahead and made a decision here on budgetary law. Limit the agent activity, right? Limit agency activity, agency of preying on the weak force. We're doing that to get the liberal vote back, I think. Hoping that has an impact on liberals. Capitalists don't like me either. Hmm. I can better become any labor laws. We only got five right now, so I can't do anything about it. Um, so there you go. Two decisions, petroleum tax and debt protection law. Uh, new policies for the second turn. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Enjoying lobbyist husp hospitality. Funding, fudging unemployment figures. There we go. Debt crisis. A new situation has developed. No! No! Debt crisis. Oh, my God. How'd that happen? Curbing bank bonuses. Whew. All right, let's see what happens. What? I think our popularity just dipped. Popularity is down. Self-employed from the debt crisis. Capitalists are dealing with the debt. Debt crisis is horrible. Oh, this is not good at all. Deficit's only five billion. Mortgage relief. Mortgage tax relief. Hmm. No, I can't do that. I need to. I need taxes. Debt crisis. Why? Why? Oh my god. What, there's nothing causing this. Uh, our level of government debt has started to cause severe fiscal problems. Government debt has pushed interest rates so high that mortgage rates are becoming unaffordable for the middle class. The poor. Alcohol tax. That impacts the poor. Poverty increases. Hold on. 2.9. Alcohol consumption goes down. Which I do want that to happen. 2.9 is what we were at. Eight. Really drive down. Has some negative impacts there. Let's cut that in half. That's two billion. All right, let's apply this. All right, so alcohol tax and petroleum taxes. What is going on with the alcohol problem? Yuck. All right, hopefully that alcohol tax will drive down alcohol consumption. We're hurting here. We are definitely hurting with this debt crisis. I don't see any militant groups going after me yet. But, uh, yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. we got to solve some of these problems, which we're not making a lot of progress here. Where is alcohol consumption? There you are. 
Okay. Alcohol law, alcohol tax. The other thing I was going to... I don't remember if I did this last turn, but... Decreasing road building, I think. Yeah, I don't think I made a move on this. This is my other move. If I decrease road construction... Traffic congestion... Car usage is going down, which I guess causes... That doesn't make sense. Traffic congestion increases with more construction of roads. Motorist opinion is dropping. Motorists are not going to like me. 6.7. Three billion dollars right there should end the deficit issue. Apply the change. Okay. So. I'm going to try to solve this deficit problem. First, hopefully that will get us out of the debt crisis. Capitalists do not like me at all. Debt protection law, that was 5%. Um, what about socialists? They got a 8% bump. From the debt protection law and nothing from the liberals all right so I have an issue here restrict bonuses do nothing curbing bank bonuses I'm gonna do nothing to try to get the capitalists back on my side and uh, yikes marriage allowance marriage tax allowance all right this should solve the problem, hopefully. Hopefully this will solve the problem, and we can get a deficit superhero. That's always good. Crime is down. Violent crime is down. Global, The global economy is in recession. This has a negative effect on our GDP. Church of Christ actively preaching all members to oppose the government. Religion is not happy. We are only at 1% in the polls. Tony Blair has a quote, environmentalists are up, and it looks like we've prevented other groups from going down. Motorists are still not too bad. Uh, and we have a surplus. Thank God. Surplus is here. If we can continue to drive this alcohol consumption down. This continues to go down. We can hopefully solve the alcohol problem, which will give us a much bigger surplus. I don't see a lot of that dropping, though. Environmentalists love me. Uh, the debt crisis. Come on, we have, we have a surplus. Okay, well, let's go back to my list of policies that I was looking at. I'm going to make some check marks here. I did the petroleum tax, and I cut road building. Those are two. The next big thing was to try to get rid of this alcohol. We're working on it. We got a ways to go still. Uh, cut agricultural subsidies and cut military spending. These are next on my list. Agricultural subsidies, that's not agricultural. Organic farming subsidies. Agricultural subsidies. Okay. Alright. This will reduce farm membership. Unemployment is going to rise. Farmers aren't going to like it. But it will cut costs and cut agricultural subsidies. I have two to three billion dollars here on my list here. So we are at six. Four billion. Capitalists like it. And capitalists are definitely a group I need to recover. All right. Cutting some spending here. And then cut military spending. Where are farmers? Farmers. Farmers love me. Okay, so we have, we have room to lose on farmers here. 
Cut military spendings. Liberals will like this. Not a lot. Cutting military spending. Two to three billion. Patriots don't like it. Let's not do too much there. We're getting a big loss on the Patriots. Lowering cost 19, and that's exactly what we have. Apply the changes. All right, so we cut agricultural subsidies and cut military spending. Budget cuts. A little more fiscal responsibility. And hopefully this surplus will jump. And we can start paying down the debt. Self-employed and capitalists are way at the bottom middle. Income, liberals, everyone. Okay. Setting up biased academic groups. Torture deportation. Yike. Where's my... Oh, man. Zero percent are going to vote for me. I'm not doing well in this game. I haven't played this in a while. Farmers are down. But we now have a $2.6 billion surplus. This has got to stop. At least we'll be paying that down. How's our alcohol looking? Got to drive this down quicker. If I can drive that down quicker and get rid of that alcohol problem. All right, let's see. Police officers are have arrested a con man who is staying in the country illegally. Under normal circumstances, he would be eligible to be deported to his country of origin. The man claims that if sent back to his homeland, he is likely to be tortured. Uh, let's see. Deport him. This man has nobody to blame for his situation but himself. Arrival here illegally. I guess a pro uh, progressive society would uh, keep him here. So we're going to go ahead and stick with the progressive policy. I don't know who that's going to benefit, really. Um, 24 is my political capital. What are the next things on my list? So far we have increased the petroleum tax. We've cut road building spending. I haven't eliminated alcohol yet. I have cut agricultural subsidies and cut military spending. Increased tobacco tax. Three billion. How are people looking at me now? The Church of Christ was the one that really is the big threat assessment here. Their membership's big, and they do not like me. Relig the Communist Party doesn't like me either. <laughs> Drinking age is another thing. Alcohol law. Drinking age at 21, alcohol consumption is still going down. Four turn inertia. If I raise that, liberals are not going to like it. I can't do that. Cancel that. And let's just get out of there. All right, tobacco tax, I guess, is one more thing we could do. Everyone is not going to like it. If we. What are we doing? Increasing the tobacco tax? Up to 3 billion tobacco usage goes down. Well, that might help us with the asthma issue. And this is not hurting us too much. Oh, I can't raise it. We have to wait a turn. I might just wait one turn before I do anything then. Here's the asthma situation. It's costing us very little money. Uh, parents don't like it though. We can turn parents. I gotta worry about middle income. Homelessness, debt crisis. This debt crisis is the worst. I gotta solve the debt crisis. That came out of nowhere and just knocked, knocked me out. It's hurting everybody. Everybody, literally. Self-employed, middle income class, and the capitalist. I think I have to raise the drink. No, I can't do that because the liberals, I forgot. So many different uh, things you have to pay attention to in this game. 
Um, let's see, Noah Lay, who was the patron who suggested the series, uh, said that you like to look at uh, the cabinet and reshuffle things here. Loyalty is pretty high in this cabinet. Religious and conservatives, I don't want to touch them. Loyalty is very high there. Retired and trade unionists for the Ministry of Industry. Looks like my cabinet is pretty loyal, so I don't have to worry about things as far as loyalty is concerned. The two areas, retired and trade unionists, religious and conservative. Religious and... Where are the conservatives? Conservatives are alright. Trade unionists. Sheesh. Ban Sunday shopping. Okay, did I have any, any impact at all? Cancel that. That doesn't seem to have any impact. Get out of there. Trade unionists, maternity leave, labor laws, labor laws. This does not cost us a lot of money. And it gets a lot of people on our side that we want on our side. Wow. What is the impact of the work week being reduced, though? Effects of the trade unionists and the health. That doesn't seem to matter at all. This looks like a decent move. Where was that? Labor laws? If we max this out, capitalists do not like it. I can't do that. Productivity will go down. Nope, nope, nope. And I don't have the political power to raise it either. Okay. Um, 16 turns to the next election. We've got time, I think. I think I'm, I feel like I'm flying through this very quickly. Uh, oh no! Socialist plot. Religious symbols in schools. We have no popularity. Alright, religion. Where is religion? Religion does not like me. Surplus seems to have disappeared. Keep going down. That's not going down quick enough. That's not moving at all. That's going up. Yikes. Oh, we almost got this asthma issue knocked out, which will bring parents back. That doesn't really matter too much. Tax evasion. Technological backwater. Debt crisis is killing me. Okay. Um, it's late Sunday. I don't think I'm too into this game at the moment because I just finished playing geopolitical simulator for like an hour there so mentally I don't know how much I'm into this racial discrimination act where is that racial discrimination act okay No. All right, I'm going to wait and see what type of suggestions people have to solve this, because it seems like this game is running away from me, and it uh, didn't really turn out the way that I was hoping it would. This debt crisis is killing me. That popping in there just sort of killed me, and it threw off my whole plan. I think things would have gone much better if that didn't, if that didn't come in here. And why did it go up so much? I mean, I was cutting... Sheesh. It's cutting spending. Income is down. That is because of, I believe, the 
global economy has been in a recession. Debt has not moved down as much as we'd like. Income is dropping. Where are those motorists? Road building. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to raise this petrol tax. Oh man, those motors are not going to like it. Alright, <clears throat> I'll wait for suggestions. Uh, there are also a lot of ideas that are not going on right now that are available. Carbon tax. Ooh. That is a lot of money. The carbon tax. Or a flat tax. Luxury tax. People like that idea. Not a ton of money there. There's too many groups that are angry with me, though. Typically what I do with this game is... And I haven't played in a while, like I said. But typically what I do is I solve the debt crisis right away. And then I create more money and surplus and even a reserve so that I can start spending and handing out to all the different interest groups. Labor laws. No, I can't do that. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna get assassinated. This game is going to end very quickly, I think. Alright. Yep. Let me know what you guys think. This might be a very short series. Um... Yeah, I'm going to see you in the next episode.